Digital identity is a hard thing to pin down. It's kind of confusing exactly what it is, but I argue that digital identity is the constellation of products that we use or applications that we use on the internet. So you can think that many people have used different messaging apps like Discord or Telegram, different social media apps like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, different media consumption apps like YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, all of those. And their data, the application data, is siloed in each one of those applications. So in this way, identity, especially digital identity, is fragmented across these various applications. I'll give you an example right here. This is my Google password manager, and these are all the applications and websites that I've stored my username and password on so that I can log in quick, quicker using Google password. And I have 44 right here. And this means that I have 44 likely different combinations of username and passwords to get into each one of these websites. This is one example of how identity is fragmented. And then once you let's think about a specific category like a social media app. We've got LinkedIn and Instagram and Twitter. These are three social media apps that are owned by different companies. And the problem with this is that um, they don't share their application data between the different social networking sites. So you have to create a custom connections or friends list in each one of these applications and you get you don't get to take that social graph with you so you have to do it three separate times and this is kind of redundant but this is the way things are set up today that companies are incentivized to silo this application data so um a while ago, it was Web1 sign-in, where you, you create a custom username and password for every service. This is centralized digital identity. Web2 is sign-in with Google or single sign-on, where you can reuse the credentials of an identity provider like Google, Facebook, Twitter right here to log into a third-party application. This is Web2 or federated login. And in this video series, we're going to talk about Web3 login, how you can have this ecosystem of decentralized identities that are anchored on the blockchain and that you're going to use a DID wallet, a decentralized identity wallet to sign into decentralized applications and to also manage your other um, credentials like your driver's license or, or any other claims or assertions about an entity. So we're going to get into all of these topics in this video series. Thank you.